and welcome into the post-game show here on the Firebird Broadcasting Network. For Jill Rizek, I'm Peter Ferreri. Coach Elmer joining us now. Coach, a much different conversation in tone <laughs> as you throw your hands up in a V. I mean, we were talking about it in the pregame show. Our conversation after University of Chicago was, you know what, good team, we were close, we can improve. Last week on Cordy, Wisconsin, much different tone. Don't quite know what happened. What happened in this past week? You beat a team with 13 wins on the season yeah, in mean, a sweep. That stung last week, right? That was not a very good performance from us mentally or physically. So, you know, we worked really hard this week to get ourselves in better position, and we did a lot of really good things when the, when the set was tight at 20s. Uh, the first two were just, you know, nail biters, right? Uh, we found a way to get those final that final push and get those points, and I'm really proud of them. I thought our passing held up really well. Uh, we started to get some really important kills right there at the end, and we finally started to get some blocks as the match as the match progressed. But I think a key, a lot of key to it was our serving. We served very aggressive tonight. I thought they did a really nice job. So after last week's loss, you said the team didn't quite look like themselves, hitting and serving wise, like you just said. Was tonight's game a more accurate representation of Carthage women's volleyball? Well, I certainly hope so. <laughs> Yeah, and I think we can even do better. You know, give Carroll a ton of credit. Uh, they've got a lot of new pieces on that team, and they, they they fought really hard. I mean, they have a nice, really nice-looking team that's had a lot of success this year. Um, you know, so they made us work really hard, and I think, you know, and I'm just really proud of us for responding the way we did. So, you know, you've got to get a few of those. You know, we want to be fearless. We want to be aggressive. You can't worry about the win and the loss. It's about how you go about your business. And uh, we did a real, lot of really good things. I thought... Katie Rowe and Liv Carroll were excellent tonight. Liv Carroll was in fuego, right? Yeah. I mean, she was so smart. She used every tool in the toolbox. Uh, it was just it was super, super impressive. I, she was out there. She was in it to win it. Yeah. I mean, she, both of them were just super competitive. I thought her setters, uh, we were coming up a little bit short on the sets in the, in the first set, but I thought we did a much better job. And then we got our middles going. Katie Boston. Uh, got going a little bit, and I think that kind of, you know, opened things up for us. Yeah. Uh, you know, and they did a really good job on the right side. We got to clean that up a little bit. We didn't stop their right side as much as I'd like us to, but, you know, we'll we'll get back to the drawing board on that and, and work on that piece, but a ton of positives tonight for sure. Yeah. You just mentioned Katie Rowe and Liv Carroll. Liv Carroll had 12 kills, yeah. and Katie Rowe had 13. You know, you have such a deep roster of upperclassmen. Yeah. What does that mean to you to have Christina Manolovich being a sophomore, keeping up with those uh, yeah. seniors with nine kills tonight? Yeah, I mean, Tina's impressive, right? <laughs> Some of those kills were like, woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she just hits the ball really hard, and she wants to go for it. So, you know, sometimes she brings it down to the block. So we've just been working on trying to, to keep those, uh, you know, go higher in their hands and try to, you know, expand the court that way. But, mm -hmm. you know, I think, is yeah, we have seniors. You know, we I want them to lead more, and I think, They've done a really good job this week. They've come in extra for extra work. All those little things teams need to do, and it's only going to get tougher, you mm -hmm. know, from here on out. So we're going to have to continue to keep doing those things and keep lifting each other up. Mm -hmm. So next week, of course, you're back home. But let's talk about this weekend. Nice little tournament, yeah. non-con again. What are you looking to accomplish out of this weekend? Is it get some more players in, some more reps, or keep that starting squad and Rep, rep, rep away. Yeah, I think you just want to build on it, right? You yeah. want to build on what happened tonight. If you get the opportunity to get some more kids in. I'm, you know, Ava Detweiler's been so good yeah. for us, and she had a tough night tonight. You know, and she's been out with a little bit of an injury, so it'll be great to get her back. I, you know, we just want her to keep her head up. She's a really good athlete. Macy Winty came in, and mm -hmm. another freshman came in and did a really nice job for us. So, uh, you know, we just have to keep building them up as we go through it. And I'm really proud of her and proud of our team around her to keep supporting and lifting each other up. So. This weekend, we, you know, UW Stevens Point's always a handful, yeah. and we're in their home gym. You know, we play them the second match of the night on Friday. Uh, these are just real testers, and it's what you need because North Central is a very, very good team. Yeah. You know, they're going to be coming in here. We just, we just need to be competing all the time. We just need to be pushed. Yeah. You know, and I thought mentally we had a much better mindset tonight, uh, right from the get go. Yeah. And you know, we just always have to have that. And people love teams. Love. You see how hard they play when they're in Tarble. I mean, they're throwing their bodies. It looks like the ball is down, and here it comes again. Yeah. So many of those plays tonight, and, and that's just, you know, that's the strength of our conference. Absolutely. Well, Coach, congrats on the win. Go get, celebrate, and then we'll see you back here in a week. Sounds good. Thank you All guys right. so much. Thanks, Thank you. Coach. Again, that was Coach Ulmer. Jill, final thoughts off of what Coach said. So much truth to that. The team, you felt it when it was a kill, when it was a dig, when it was a set, just absolutely felt more confident tonight to deliver whether they got the point or not. Yeah, something I was watching during the game that Coach Almer just mentioned is 
when you think that a ball might be out of play or it's going to hit the ground, here it comes again on Carthage's side. They don't give up and they just keep going until they get the point. You saw Jenna Damon just hit the floor. No matter what, she's always thrown her body onto the court to be able to get that point, and that just shows the grit, the de determination, and the athleticism within Carthage's team. Well, again, looking at some of the overall numbers, Carthage ending 186 on the kill percentage side, 10 more assists. One more ace, few more service errors, but they were more aggressive at the line. Even with two blocks, seven more digs. Again, your final three to nothing, the sweep, the Firebirds over the visiting Pioneers. We want to thank you all for joining us this evening, each and every one of you for tuning in. Again, we have football this Saturday, so make sure you tune in for that. For executive producer Mike Love, producer John Voinovich, for the rest of the staff and crew, Laura, Ryder, and Matt. Great job directing graphics, replay, and camera. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a presentation of Firebird Broadcast Productions in Carthage College, copyright 2024. Your final, Carthage 3, Pio 0. For Jill Reisig, I'm Peter Ferrari. 